I bought all Dell Jr.'s go-karts. I'm stoked that I was able to even find them. I found them on Marketplace. In the last episode, we started the build to the track, which was part one. This episode is gonna be part two. We gotta finish the track, and then I gotta finish prepping all these go-karts, which is also a lot of work. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go check out when we actually bought these go-karts, because it was pretty cool. We found them in a barn. Sonny is here. He's gonna help me on the track on what he could do uh, for the rest of the day. Hopefully by today, we can have the full track prepped, all the go-karts ready, ready for the Cal Patty 700. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, put the camera down. Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> were you hugging it or what were you doing? It's at like a frustrated lower now. I've been shaping this track for days. I really like this. I yeah. agree, I like that too. It's just narrow in there. In that yeah. corner, coming out of that corner, it's super narrow. Mm -hmm. I think if we take it out another like 15, 20 feet, it'll just on give the it corner? just on this corner over here. It's on dog making it happen. Here's what's interesting. Uh, Tim, the guy that uh, when we went and got all the carts that we actually got them off, he's, he's on his way over because he wants to see what we're doing. And uh, just, he might have some advice or something like that, but it's just kind of cool because we're keeping, you know, the past owners involved with uh, the whole Dell Junior go karts and stuff like that. That's cool stuff. That's fine, but it's definitely got to be wider. Oh, you think? When I saw the video and you were taking up, like he's going through, I said, "Where's the rest of the track?" You got to test it. Once you get the track layout done, and you get your flanker system done, and then you get it packed in, and then you got to go ride it and see if it's too much or not enough moisture. Yeah. You know. Well, definitely when I when I drove it the other day, it was dry, it, it was dry. So I think it's kind of cool to have Tim back here at our ranch now. Again, Tim is the one we uh, we got the go-karts off in the first place. And now he's kind of giving us some advice on our track. So we're just uh, we're just getting her all dialed in. In the meantime, I mowed all this grass. It took me 10 hours yesterday. I did about 20 acres. It was a lot of work. I found a lot of stuff on the way, a lot of this metal, a lot of these. I was thinking we could use these in the center of the track like we'll put them all around and we could hang lights off them for like night racing and stuff so these are actually going to work out perfect it's already starting to look way different Th this episode isn't you know something to entertain everyone and stuff like that it's just more like a a fun lifestyle you know kind of what it takes to turn something like this into something fun for our friends and stuff my my wife and uh, my kiddos are just getting here so i'll show them the track and kind of see what she thinks. All right, I got his first ranger ride. <laughs> Check it out. Come on, Jeez, you mowed so much yesterday. Probably about 20 acres. Jeez. Man, you guys are gonna get dusty. Oh, yeah. Brandy, what is this, a racetrack? Okay. Say race. <laughs> do you want to race? Uh -huh. What do you think overall? I like it. Cool spot to come out. Race. You're not gonna? Yeah, you are. You want to drive the go karts? Sunny's gonna launch the drone, and I'll be able to show you guys kind of like what it looks like from the sky. Oh, dude, that looks so cool from the air. Oh yeah, that looks unbelievable. Are you pretty excited with how it's? Let's I'm super out. stoked. I think it's gonna be sick. I think it's cool. It's different too. Like, like go kart track, you know, circle track. But we put in a little bit of elevation going up in this corner, and then kind of shoot you back down to a, like a right hand chicane, and then that corner is pretty flat. Like it's, it's good. <laughs> Sonny had to take off, so now I, I've taken over the dozer. I got about 12 hours in today. Um, I'm getting pretty tired. It's raining outside. Um, you guys can probably see. But I'm doing everything in my power to get this track done and to get all the Dell Jr. Uh, go-karts all prepped. But it's just it's just a two-man show, my dad and I. So I'm gonna do what I can. The whole goal is, you know, this next episode to race. Gotta be honest with you guys, I'm at a, it's at like a frustrated low right now. I've been shaping this track for days, literally days. 
I just, I can't get it right. I know it's like anything like, you know, big, big time learning, but that's where I'm at. Just can't get the, the, the banking right. I mean, I've, I've pulled so much dirt out of the center. I don't mean to be negative on, on the channel. I just, it's like watching paint dry, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a track builder and thank God Sonny came and, and helped me with everything he helped me with. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, it's like, man, it's a, <laughs> this is a lot of work, you guys. I, if I feel like it's just not gonna end and, and uh, a track like this has to be perfectly level. You know, if I, if I can't make it happen in the, in the timing, I'm, we might just have to postpone the race. Well, I like it because it, when you come around there, all the speed around this big turn, you're kind of banked a little bit. The hard part about the track is it's got to be like perfectly level. When we build the motocross tracks, it's no big deal if you've got some humps in, in it, but the way you were jumping around and your teeth were rattling, I don't know how to get it completely flat, especially if we got to tear it up and then relay it down. Well, we are going to figure that out, but if anyone has any uh, uh, advice for us on how to get this exactly perfect as of right this second, please let us know. You can see just how much banking I've added here. I've probably added two foot to the track or maybe even a little more. You can see uh, just how much the center's dug out. Now I just have this kind of rough cut with the uh, with the dozer. And again, I, you know, I self-taught myself on the dozer, so I'm not like, you know, incredible, but I, uh, I didn't have an operator when we built our barn and I had to teach myself, which is kind of funny. But uh, this right here, I dug down about four feet which is a lot and i use this dirt all around the track um i added a slight slight banking on the right hander uh bank that whole corner and then this whole corner let me stand down here and actually kind of show you guys this is uh this whole thing is banked and uh when tomorrow when it's when it's done raining which is this is the best thing that we could have had because we don't have water out here yet this water is going to soak into this clay and then we'll come out here and just shape this whole thing. And hopefully we'll be dialed in ready for the go-karts. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to go work on a few go-karts. I'm going to show you guys um, some of the things I'm doing to get them ready. <laughs> what are you doing? Can you not put <laughs> I figured this would be easy. Obviously, uh, we don't know how to change a go-kart tire. <laughs> Okay, put the camera down and help me here. Oh, shit! <laughs> Is there a machine that does this? <laughs> well, these tires are probably like 10 years old. <laughs> Dad, you're gonna break your wrist. <laughs> Dad, Dad, Dad. We... <laughs> I think what we're fighting against us is these tires at one point used to be really soft, but they're probably, I think they're from 04. So they're really old, like really old. Anyone that's like super into go-karts probably like these guys are idiots, but I guarantee they've done the same thing for a shot Maybe we were supposed to press it on So my dad made uh, a little makeshift thing. Is, is that a hole saw? Is that what that was? I think it's the same size. Yeah, it's a hole saw and I took the teeth off it. Huh? We don't need no tire machine, do we? Heck no There you go right there, boys. I gotta say, it's uh, it's very enjoyable watching my dad try and change the tire. He's gonna try it. Very enjoyable watching my dad change the tire. He's gonna try and change the rear right now. I'll kind of document this in case you guys would like to see it. <laughs> You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself, dad. <laughs> Were you hugging it or what were you doing? Yeah, I'm hugging the tire because I'm bored. Where are you going? Oh my gosh, I, I should probably help him, but it's just so enjoyable watching. I mean, he was just uh, hugging the wheel. Now we're all the way over to the tire machine. What's your plan here, Dad? <laughs> no. Yeah, laugh at me now, dork. Oh, much easier than hugging the tire. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this should be the whole video, just watching you struggle. Yeah, this will be fun. I'm sure everybody's going to enjoy this. So I got my buddies Jake and Drew over to teach my dad. <laughs> oh, dad, theirs is way faster. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there had to be a machine. Oh, oh. oh this is Chris too, the pops. <laughs> Did you see how he's doing this? <laughs> Alright, I want to see it go back on. Alright, gentlemen. Dad, pay attention. Oh my god, a kid's gonna do it. Dad, he's 17. So we go here, right? So we do like Drew just did. My dad couldn't even go that far. But Oh, that's right. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry that. that took my dad oh, like an I'm hour yesterday. Do one now, so I'm I'm it. It. No, These are harder to put on than our drift truck stuff. And, it, and they're a nightmare. Yeah. And I was thinking, okay. He literally had it chunked up in the tire machine. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You guys didn't have to give us this. <laughs> so you try one now, but go with... Um, so it's kind of cool when uh, we actually have people here that, that know what they're doing these guys race all the time and so i uh they're, they're actually very close to my house and and uh and so it's cool to have them over to show my dad how to do this and me i mean i i gotta admit i didn't know how to do this either. Almost. There you go. oh the leg work dad <laughs> dad. dad brad this is embarrassing <laughs> well you're going next you're going next what are you doing with your legs here? <laughs> Alright, where's the loop? <laughs> you're going next, and I'm filming your dumb ass. There you go. Nice, Dad. Oh, okay. There you go. You wow, got Dad. Oh. Does that make you angry? Alright, get him another wheel, because you're doing the next one. Right, well, you see all the moment. cracks everywhere there? Oh, right that, that'll add a little speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Look at his legs! Oh! 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 I didn't take it apart. Oh! Oh! His legs are moving! Oh my God! Oh my gosh! Talk about loser status. Yeah, do you want to go do a running race or something? <laughs> or a race? Oh my gosh! See, that's way better than what my dad did. I gotta be honest with you guys. I uh, I didn't film us changing all the tires because we got all got in such a groove and they were only they can only help me for about an hour and a half. And uh, we just knocked out a bunch of stuff. So uh, here here is a lot of the tires that we changed. Uh, I know my dad is excited to see that there's uh, tools to make the job easier. I knew there had to be a tool, just like anything, you don't. It'd be like trying to change a car tire without a tire machine. I mean, you can do it, just but that hard. little simple tool right there. This is the best tool right here. Yeah, on and off. I don't think at this point, you guys, I, I was trying to have this cow patty race uh, this weekend, and there's just no way. I mean, we got the, the water um, tank, we got them out, we got sprinklers, I still gotta get all the go-karts ready. I only have three carts ready. Um, I, I've been trying so hard and I, I actually put a thing up on my Instagram saying I just need some help and that's why you know these guys came over and helped me and it just works out good because all they do is race go-karts but there's just no way so we're gonna have to push it we're still gonna have the race but uh, I just want to just fo get back focused and get everything uh, in line and organized that way the day of the race I'm not all stressed out and it's just I, I want it to be super uh, entertaining and fun for everyone including myself uh, on race day and I don't want to be focusing on all kinds of different moving parts. So we're going to we're gonna do it. But I got to get three more carts ready still. This is going to be wild. So again, I do got a really good driver's list that I'm going to announce here pretty soon. Uh, but if you do know of a great driver or someone that would be perfect in competing in this and doesn't mind uh, a lot of cow patties thrown at their face, uh, put it in the comments. But I can't wait. Uh, this is going to be a fun, fun, fun addition to the channel. And uh, let's just see who the driver is going to be this is going to be this is going to be cool kind of disgusting <laughs> but really cool also i was going to tell you guys we want to have something funny every time for the prize so if you guys have an idea for the race after this put it in the comments 
Let's go. The Cow Patty 700 is on, boys.